Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Today the show comes to you from Milturn Precision Engineers Limited. Uh, now I'm with Giovanni Albanese and we're going to be talking about this cell behind us here. This has reduced the operations on a component from six machines down to one. Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. We've gone for a fully automated machine that will do pretty much everything from the MG Mori. We have a lot of components that we were doing in multiple operations. Previously, it's six, six setups, six operations, one setup now. There is nothing we've found yet that we won't be able to make on here. So coming up in this week's show, we're going to be talking about this fabulous DMG Mori machine behind us. We're going to be talking about the automation here that we've got on two fronts with uh, this robot and also a bar feed. We're going to be talking about the work holding and also uh, a 5S system from Hoffman. Now, Gio, looking at this installation, how good has it been for Milton Precision Engineers? I think it's completely transformed their business 100%. They, you know, as you mentioned in, in the intro, Paul, um, six operations down to one. They're doing this component in one operation and they're also running unmanned overnight something that they didn't do before and we'll look at that part as well throughout the uh, journey of this show but firstly let's look at this machine this uh, the technology on this machine is something else uh, the first thing I'm going to point out is this uh, milling spindle that we have here this is a 20,000 rpm HSK milling spindle now the beauty of the of, of this particular um, aspect of the machine is the size of it. You can see in terms of its height and its width, they're almost identical, which means that maximizing the working area in the machine on the Z axis, uh, you can achieve, um, well, a better working envelope as a result, result of the, uh, the head itself. Now, Gio, talk to me about the work holding in here. Well, the work holding, let's start on the main spindle with the SMW chuck. So we've got the, the chuck for the, for the billet work with gripper jaws on, on the main spindle. Um, and then the robot will transfer up one to the second spindle um, and that's got an, an Einbuck expanding mandrel um, to hold the part internally so the work holding is second to none um, and all of the accessories really on this particular application are excellent I mean you can even see um, those the, coolant nozzles uh, fantastic fantastic especially when you're running overnight Paul you know running 24 7 the last thing you want is for the old flimsy ones to drop especially if a bit of uh, swarf got tangled up in them so uh, they've really they're gone available to town. from Floyd automatic we they noted are, those yeah. when we when we first got here now the whole concept of this machine is about one hit machining one um, you know producing a part complete in one hit you've got two spindles here two very powerful spindles two fast spindles over a meter between centers and a machine here that has things like linear scales uh, it's an HSK spindle, uh, spindle on the uh, on the milling as well and you've got an 80 tall carousel on this machine as well so you can really long gone are the days where a turning machine um, with a with with mill drill on it is simply for doing small um, you know small holes or light milling cuts this is a true milling head um, this machine has got cooling on uh, liquid cooling on the spindles and also on the axes as well so minimal growth um, however hard you're hitting those parts now I've got to say when I when I look at a cell like this you can see how he gets um, the operations down from six to one can't you by all of these axes capability. Yeah, and, and the benefits of getting from six operations down to one are, are not just that. Um, they're compounded in lots of different areas. So you've only got one setup time now, Paul. Um, you've only got one inspection instead of six. Um, but not only that, the relationships of this complex optical component are all in situ. You're doing it so the component is more accurate. You're getting a better quality of component. All of the features are tied up completely, perfectly together. So what about the tool life on the machine as well? There's been some a, a real impact there, hasn't there? I mean, I, I was absolutely astounded when, when we talked to them about the tool life. The machine's only landed eight weeks ago, um, and it was a turnkey project from DMG Mori, so it was pre-programmed. And they've not 
changed the finishing cutting tool yet it's still running to this day and i think that that is um down to an, a number of reasons really paul a lot of the reasons what we've touched upon when we look at the work holding mm -hmm. um the, the, the cutting tool holders yeah. and the cutting tools them, themselves, the, whole the rigidity the machine, of the machine. the machine. Yeah. Now, what about the automation here? We've got two, we've got, we've got two areas. We've got the hydro feed bar feed, which will feed bar into the machine. Then, of course, what you're standing in front of here. How good uh, is this? The automation is key, really, to get that unmanned running and to really uh, maximise prof profitability out of your investment. And you look effectively, Paul, you're turning these billets into this component unmanned overnight look at the, the material removal rates in this com particular component so this is the the billet side of the automation so you, you've got different elements and you literally stack your raw billet it loads it and then it puts your finished component back onto this tray but say for example you're doing other complex work or bar work or smaller components you've also got the option to bar feed that work with the hydro feed uh, bar feeder so you've got the best of both worlds effectively Paul I mean the, the, there's nothing really you can't do on this machine and the great thing about the two pieces of hardware here is the communication between one and the other with them being a DMG Mori supported product this cell you've got no real concerns about you know how you're going to program it because it's all very simple through the cell -os and uh, control isn't it absolutely i think that with all oem companies now they've started to introduce their own automated solutions i think it's very important and it's all fully integrated with the machine yeah now what about what we we have here as well then from hoffman they've they've essentially now um created this this whole cellular or well, this cell here, which means the machine in the automation, but then everything from the from the tool handling, what's happening? Yeah, I mean, looking at the complete cell, it's all driven with the, the C-Loss, which is very user friendly. Then we, we move on to the, the, the investment into Hoffman products. And it's not just the cutting tools, which we've already mentioned, but the cutting tool holders. So you've got the shrink fit holders. Um, on the HSK 63 back ends, but you've got lots of different holders. Um, but really, when we're looking at this configuration here, it's all about 5S, and it's all what about. What does that mean for people that don't know? It's all about being organised and saving time. Everything's got a place, so you haven't got to go looking around for a particular tool, a particular tool holder. You've got all of these cabinets which accommodate for all of the different tools tooling um, and everything is organized which saves time again everything is about time and time is money how many times you see machines like this installed and that people hunting around the machine shop for a, oh, for a tool holder it, it, it's, it's it's unbelievable and it's it, you know and and this particular cell does not only include the storage and the cabinets and the tooling but also the metrology is on this particular cell so in the past we were speaking to the uh, guys from Milton they would have had to have taken a component to the inspection department then brought it back to the machine but they're even inspecting it next to the machine as it's well. It's kind of belt and braces as well really because they've also got um, probing in the machine too so they can measure in the machine but measure off of the machine uh, as well so let's just summarize NG what is the what has been the, the major saving here for mill turn how good has this been for them I mean setup times is 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 massive you know setup times is spindle downtime effectively you know the spindle is down now because they've kindly stopped it for swarf and chips we're having to pay for this <laughs> but we're having to pay for this however you know this spindle is going to be running now you know 24 7 and um, no setup times required or when they do kind of swap from another component if it's a component that repeats it's just a case of changing the program mm. everything's already preset um, automation is key all of the buzzwords that we've been using on Swarf and Chips for years um, people have finally started to embrace these technologies and they're finally being embraced is embraced by smaller end user companies too and 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 they are going to be the companies that you know in the future are going to succeed and even made even easier to invest in machinery like this now is the current government schemes that are running and the new uh, super deduction capital allowances scheme, which means that you can uh, offset 130 percent of a capital investment, uh, which is really, really incredible. It means that technology like this is affordable now to all and you could get the unmanned run. Uh, you could really improve the productivity of your company by investing in sales like this. Uh, thanks for watching this week's show. Uh, remember, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you uh, same time next week.